Hey, all right! Dave Powers just subscribed to my YouTube channel. I'm honored, Dave. Thanks. Okay, we're gonna waterproof a couple of speed controls. This is a brand new Turnigy Plush 30. And I'm gonna cut the shrink wrap off. going to coat it in conformal epoxy. I'm snipping it right up to the circuit board. And I'm going to take my, my scalpel and cut along the very edge. Basically, aren't any components right along the edge. On the top and the bottom, yes. On the edge, no. Okay, so we have this little piece of heat sink here, and we have another little piece of heat sink here. So I think I'll leave in place and just put the epoxy underneath it. You see under there? See there's a little hole in there? And these are the MOSFETs, M-O-S-F-E-T's. These are the switches that turn on and off 16,000 times a second. And now in order to let current flow to the motor, these are the puppies that get hot. So, while we're making this thing waterproof, we definitely do not want to get epoxy on the top of these. Now, it's not an ironclad rule. If you make a mistake and you get a little epoxy on there, you can actually sand it off. Uh, one of the things I would do if I built this speed control as a technician is I would get a piece of like 400 sandpaper the right size and I would on a, an extremely flat surface I would sand the MOSFETs to make sure that they were all absolutely flat in the same plan plane and uh, the heat sink hit them all a hundred percent Scotchwell DP270 it's a potting compound, an epoxy potting compound. We're not going to exactly pot these things because we're worried about heat. But it is designed for electronic circuits. It will not conduct electricity. That's why we can use it on these delicate little speed controls. I tend to be a bit frugal and I didn't buy the $16 gun that pumps this stuff out of the two tubes in equal amounts. I made my own. It's not elegant, but it works. Okay. Got a bunch of epoxy in here. I'm going to stir it up and count to 45 slowly. Now we have a nice <coughs> batch of epoxy. I'm actually going to pour it over the speed control. What if I do it this way? That's better. Now, I don't want to cover this uh, heat sink back here. Because then it wouldn't dissipate heat properly. If I get epoxy on it, then I'll take it off later. Can't get at the end of that, so I'll just keep feeding epoxy to the top of it. Till it comes out the bottom. Oh, 
I'm going to use my stick here to distribute some epoxy in between the MOSFETs. Around the capacitor. Both sides. Along the edge of the circuit board. This is a heat gun. Happens to be a Wagner. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to heat this speed control up so that the epoxy runs, gets looser, thinner, and runs off. Because we're not potting this thing. We just want to coat everything with epoxy so it doesn't get wet. Because of the way this is built, I'm just going to heat the, the front and the back and my fingers, ow. See if I can get all that epoxy to run off. Well, not all of it, of course. Look at that. The heat sink is almost perfectly clean. I'll just wipe it off a little bit. Nothing on top of the MOSFETs. But I'm going to sand it down a little bit anyway. I'm going to set this aside and let it cool. I'll grab the other speed control. Apparently, I didn't get something perfect. Because this gets splashed and ceases to function. Just a splash. It's on a, uh, on a plane that's on floats. Usually just work over a paper plate. Now remember, when you clean up after epoxy, all you need is alcohol. Now, the rubbing alcohol in your bathroom is 70% alcohol, 30% water, and it's got some other stuff in it, like lanolin, so that it doesn't dry your skin out. So, it's not... Uh, pure alcohol. I use denatured alcohol from a hardware store. Boy, that thing gets hot fast. And I've done this to my receivers, my radio receivers, my uh, uh, Spectrum 2.4 gigahertz receivers. Never lost one of those. I did it with my older Airtronics receivers. No problem. Hey, right, I'm going to let that one sit there on edge. This one is cooled down. I hope everything's stuck where it's supposed to be. I'm going to sit this one up on edge also. And I'm going to let it... Uh, Set up.